Hi, good morning. This is Juan Carlos from Inspira Group. On this week video, we would like to discuss about the way how we manage the amount of experiments that we are running for each of our clients. Every week, we gather with all the ideas that we have inside of the team to discuss the different experiments that we can run in SEO, in CRO, web development, social media, influencer marketing. And as you can imagine, every week we have dozens of ideas that we would like to include for every brand that we are uh, launching. And at the end of the day, we always want to start with the most important ones. So how do we select them? Well, uh, starting from the fact that uh, how long should an, an experiment last? Well, an experiment for us uh, should last at least a month, yet we don't want to exp exp uh, wait till the month is finished to start considering what are the next experiments that we are going to run. For that reason, every two weeks, we are already launching uh, new versions of the experiments that we are running. Of course, there are some ex exemptions. Uh, yet, 90% uh, of it, um, according to growth, hack uh, growth Hacking, Growth Drive, where we learn more about growth hacking, 90% uh, of these experiments could fall into the two weeks segment. Um, the way how we select the experiments are by using the brass method. Uh, a brass method is indeed, um, we could use it on a, on a tool like ClickUp, or we can also do it very, uh, very easy on an Excel sheet an Excel uh, Google Drive sheet that we could share with the, everyone in the team. And the idea is that everyone will have access to it. Everyone will be able to share their experiments, their ideas for experiments. They will necessarily would have to define the department that they are, uh, that they are willing to run an experiment with, uh, the idea of the experiment, what kind of tools do they want to apply for that experiment, a quick briefing, nothing too deep about it. It's more about having a feel of what do we want to achieve with it. And then it's about um, how do we measure, uh, the, how do we um, segment the importance of this experiment. For that, the BRASS method uh, allows us to have four different metrics. The four metrics that we use are uh, the, the blink, the gut feeling. How do we feel about this experiment that we are, uh, are about to run? The relevance uh, for the brand itself. What are the channels that they have uh, available? What are the, the tools that they actually they already have in place? The ability, how easy is to, is to, to implement it for us? Uh, do we already have the knowledge inside of it? How much it costs for it for, for, to implement uh, this new strategy? And the last one is, of course, the metric is the scalability, how, how scalable this experiment will be once uh, later on, once it works. And we want to push it not to just a few dozens of people, but thousands, hundreds of thousands of people in order to increase our growth. Uh, everyone actually has these four metrics. They can quantify it from one to five. And, and then basically we multiply these scores and by then we can have a complete list where we have a complete uh, quantified score for each of these experiments, taking in consideration the metrics of everyone in the team. We would say we have about five people in the team always, uh, always sharing their scores. Uh, we would like always to have someone from different departments giving a score. And then of course, then we can actually see at the end of the week, every two weeks, which are the experiments that are on the, on the top, with which ones do we all believe that we should start with. Uh, we're going to share some examples of what we are doing. We're going to share one Excel uh, together with this video. That way, anyone that uh, will be uh, interested in sharing some more ideas or become, uh, being part of the scoring board, please just join. Uh, I hope actually this is an idea that actually can give you some, some speed on how to um, increase the amount of experiments that you are running each month. 
Thank you for listening and welcome to Inspiring Dog Growth.